Based on the literature of agents used in the treatment of catatonia, we've constructed a catatonia management algorithm for providers to use to help them think through next steps in the treatment of catatonia. The first step in the algorithm is a trial of lorazepam with the intravenous form preferred. Lorazepam should be tried for at least two to three days at doses of at least six to eight milligrams daily. During this time, workup for ECT should begin, including discussions with the family and any legal steps necessary to initiate that process. The second step in the algorithm is a trial of ECT for at least six and ideally at least 10 sessions. If ECT is not immediately available, we recommend skipping to step three. Step three of the algorithm includes the addition of either amantadine, 100 milligrams daily, or memantine, 10 milligrams daily, to the benzodiazepine. It is recommended that the agent is then increased over three to four days to a maximum dose of amantadine, 600 milligrams daily, or memantine, 20 milligrams daily. Step four of the algorithm involves adding carbamazepine, 300 to 600 milligrams daily, or valproate, 500 to 1500 milligrams daily. And finally, step five of the algorithm involves adding either aripiprazole, 10 to 30 milligrams, olanzapine, 2.5 to 10 milligrams, or clozapine, with each dose given in combination with lorazepam. In terms of some practical caveats to this algorithm, if the catatonia is secondary to schizophrenia, we encourage providers to consider moving past benzodiazepines more quickly, as there is evidence that catatonia due to schizophrenia is less responsive to benzodiazepines. This may involve moving more quickly towards ECT, or it may involve using an additional alternative agent sooner in the process. If the catatonia co-occurs with delirium, we would recommend considering amantadine or memantine as a first-line treatment strategy, and also considering the use of atypical antipsychotics in combination with lorazepam earlier in the process. However, it's important to recognize that there are plenty of cases of comorbid catatonia and delirium that respond very well to monotherapy with lorazepam. In other words, you may not want to skip over the possibility of giving the patient benzodiazepines simply because of the presence of delirium. However, if the benzodiazepines don't seem to be effective or if they seem to make the delirium worse, it may be helpful to move to other steps of the algorithm more quickly. If a strong element of psychosis is present, we would consider using an antipsychotic as early as step three in the algorithm. However, if signs of malignant catatonia are present, step five of the algorithm should be removed and patients should not be given any antipsychotic agent. As noted earlier, if the catatonia is due to clozapine withdrawal, you should consider clozapine as the first line treatment strategy. And finally, it's important to keep in mind that the evidence is not robust for using lithium, newer antiepileptic drugs, newer atypical antipsychotics, or other agents. So to summarize, if benzodiazepines are ineffective and ECT is not an option, consider an NMDA antagonist such as memantine or amantadine as the next step. Consider antiepileptic drugs and atypical antipsychotics as fourth and fifth line treatment strategies. If there is a strong element of psychosis, consider antipsychotics earlier in the algorithm, but do not use them if malignant features are present.